What's going on, guys? I'm Jackie Powell with Entertainment Scoop, and we're here in Hollywood with a awesome MC, 3D T. How are you today? I'm here. I'm great. Went from moving dope, used to serve like Serena. Now I'm balling like bitches with alopecia. Pockets hefty, shoot this up, you like nephew to my Keisha. Slingshots to Nina, like Biggie, you John Cena. Approaching with hands out, do I look like a palm reader? I'm allergic to broke niggas, they break me out like Trina. 3D Nati, what does that mean or what does it stand for? Um, it's just a nickname, like, I grew up and my family was calling me that, so I, I just wanted to have a rap name that my family called me because, you know, that's, my fans are my family, so yeah. they can call me the same. Where did your family get that from? 3D is, um, Third Wall Delachey. That's where I grew up, that's the street in the area that I grew up in. Okay. So, um, you know, that's, that's just the nickname they gave me. I've been looking all through YouTube, people are constantly flooding your videos with comments talking about this is what we're waiting for, this woman is real, she can spit, we need this in the industry. How do you respond to stuff like that? I'm just I'm I'm just excited about the fact that me getting the music out there and people really get it. They really understand, you know, like I, I'm I'm not focused on the fluff and a lot of times people just blow smoke up your ass, you know what I'm saying? But the fact that the, the people they are listening and they truly understand who I am as an artist through the music, that's one of the best feelings ever because that's what I make the music for. Where'd you start from and how did it all come to this point right now? Well, I always look at rap as a way to vent. Like before, I've never really paid attention to trying to make it a career. Mm -hmm. I never was focused on being a rapper. At first, it just originally started out because I thought that um, rap was my way to vent. Rap was my best friend. Rap was my way to um, get the things that I thought about that I didn't want to tell anyone. I, I wrote those things down mm -hmm. and I turned them into songs. And I would... You know, I would do it at school, my friends would hear me, and people would say, hey, rap the, the one that you was rapping to me or whatever, and I saw that people were really understanding the music and being touched by it, so that's when I started to focus on trying to, you know, make it a career. And you're blowing up now, but it just didn't happen anywhere, anywhere. I know you're you're working really hard, but you're with Russell Simmons. How did that How did that happen? Um, Russell saw one of my videos online. Actually, Steve Rifkin, you know, saw one of my videos online. Um, the Switch video that I shot, mm -hmm. edited, all of that stuff, and I put it online. They saw it, and they called me the same day. So you've had deals, and I, I've heard that in your music. You you turn down. You're not gonna just settle for anything. You know those certain things, the financial things about mm -hmm. it. I, I turned down the deals because I felt like I wanted the right situation that was beneficial for me, not just financially, but I needed some people, I needed the people behind me to really understand where I'm trying to be, mm -hmm. you know, so I would pass up on a million dollars knowing that later on I can be legendary and I can make 20 million. Yeah, and you said that you wanted somebody to see your vision. You're not looking for like, you know, the one million dollar deal. You're looking for the 20 million dollar deal. What is your vision going? What, what, what do you want to happen? When you look at me, when you look at me, I don't want you to just say, ah, she, she's nice for a girl. Ah, she, mm -hmm. yeah, she's, I want y'all to say, that's one of the best that ever did it. You know, on, all, across the board, you know, in business and, you know, music wise, mm -hmm. being a philanthropist and giving back to my community, all of these things. Right. I want people to look at me and respect me. I'm curious, has there any been any, you know, rappers that you look up to that are already reaching out? I know there has to be. A few weeks ago, I don't know how this even happened, but Wale hit me up and he was like, I, I know who you are, you're, you're real dope. You know, mm -hmm. and that's, I love Wale's music. Mm -hmm. um, I did Sway in the Morning, I think, South by Southwest uh, last year. Yeah. And me and Kendrick Lamar was able to yeah. sit down and do a little session, a little cypher or whatever. And he was really into it. He was really, he really, you know, he liked, <laughs> <laughs> he liked, he liked what I did. So, yeah. you know, just artists like that, artists that I respect, it feels right. good to know that they respect the music too. When you're writing down, your rhymes and when you're rapping, what is your process? It, it all changes. I think the best, my best records is when I set out not having a concept at all and I just hear a beat and I start writing some things and then it just flows into, you know, something great. Like I have a, a, a record and a video um, called Lil Kim. Kim fell in love with a dude named Mike met a month ago. It's funny though. Simple last shit seen the girl 16, Mike 30. But he getting money though. 
Kim, lie by the age. I can relate, was wild at the age. Dead in jail, locked in a case in Melbourne, can't raise a child through a page of a loose leaf. Why he in a cell? And the first thing people was like, okay, is this about Little Kim? No, she did it. Controversy, yeah, yeah, how we yeah, always yeah. do, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But it was a re it was a record about um, a young girl who was growing up too fast. So I started it not even knowing where the story was gonna end. Y'all should check that out, by the way. But I started it not even knowing where the story was gonna end. And those are the best records when I'm writing them. And then I shock myself, or I wow myself, or I put a little bit more of me than I even intended to. So what are you working on right now? Um, we're going to do a video to Fake Friends. Oh, nice. And we are, we are releasing Fake Friends on iTunes okay. and, and, and the Android market and everything. So mm -hmm. we're working on that right now. And then I'm working on new music features. We have videos. And I have this series called Out the Mud. So the cameras are always following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, cam the cameras are always on, and I, and, I, and I just take the people with me through this whole process. Mm -hmm. You know, so it won't seem so, it, it will seem natural to them as well, you know, when they come along with me. Because a lot of people have been supporting me from the very beginning. Now, also in the comments, everybody, there are women pe commenting under your videos, but there are men too, like falling in love with you already. They're like, Free D, we love you. Bring it over this way. You know, all these comments. Are you single? Are you dating? Are you nosy? I am nosy. I am. That's one thing that I am. <laughs> um, I am really. I am going on dates and having fun. I'm okay. Enjoying my life. I like it. I'm enjoying my life. I like that. What is, what is a typical good date for you? What do you like in a man? What does he need to bring to the table? Well, he just yeah. has to be. He just has to be um, very real and be able to. Um, Tame me. Ah. <laughs> I need to tame. Yeah, ah, okay. I need to tame, but you know, in a good way. I just, I just, I, I like, um, I like a man that's funny. You know, um, handsome, takes care of his business, really confident. All of those things. Okay, so we're gonna play a little game to kind of get to know you a little bit better. I'm gonna ask you a question and I want you to respond. Maybe that you could spit or you can just respond with the response. But it'd be really cool if you kind of just like made it into a rhyme, just saying. <laughs> a guy, would you kiss him on the first date? Kissing on the first date. I would kiss on a first date. Probably wouldn't wait. Some might disagree, but nah, bitch, don't hate. Got a Grammy in my hand. Are you a rapper? You rap? No, no. I will leave the rapping up to you. I'm. You guys don't want me rapping. That's for sure. You don't have to spit. You just respond and what you think. Okay. I don't want to put you on the spot or anything. But yeah, you have a Grammy in my hand. Um, I have a Grammy in my hand. I would think. Uh, my family. This person on my CD, I collabed with him, and he went really hard, and... Well, a, a while back, I did a record with Currency, mm -hmm. and, and he went really hard, and, and he's from my city, so shout out to Cur Currency, he's doing nice. his thing. Nice, okay. How about, I just went to the mall today, and I picked up... I just got some Jeffrey Campbell shoes. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, that's nice. Yeah, I like, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want your fans to know about you when they, you know, finally get this album that when it comes out, like, what do you want them to just get from you? When they listen to you, how do you want them to feel? Um, I'm giving my all mm -hmm. in this music. Like, this is, this is nothing that I'm just trying to put together because I'm in this new situation. Like, this is the Nazi, the, the ones who've been riding with me and supporting mm -hmm. me. This is the one that y'all fell in love with, you know, like. There's no changing. And to the new, the new fans and to the new supporters, like I really give my all in this music, and and I don't, I never want to change that. No matter where I go or what happens from this point on, I'm gonna always give my all. Okay, so for all your new fans and old fans, where can they find your music if they want to listen to you? Well, you can always go to 3dnazi.com. All of my social media sites, the Instagram, all of that is the same. 3dnatee.com, mm -hmm. and I also have an app that you can download. It's called the official 3D Nazi mobile app, and you can get that from iTunes, 
You can also get it in the Android market for all your Samsung phones and stuff like that. Make sure you download the app. Everybody wanna be God. Everybody wanna be young. Everybody wanna be queen. But after the regime, bitch nigga, it's over. Hey, this is your girl 3D Not T in Hollywood, all the way from the NO, and I just had the time of my life on entertainment school. Pay attention. <laughs>